Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Hope you guys are doing well. In today's video, we are going to be looking at an evolution that was released recently, along with this current promo that is going on, which is the Golazo event. Now, I don't know how many of you guys are aware of this evolution that is there in this uh, evolution column, but I don't know. I have my mixed emotions about this evolution. Now, without any further ado, let's dive into this now i will give you guys my overview of what i think about this whole evolution thing is it worth doing is it really necessary and all that good stuff will i be doing it myself uh so yeah let's get a, let's get into this without any further ado now before we actually get into this particular one i just want to tell you guys that there are a few more of these evolution reviews uh, in the channel so make sure you guys go check all that out and I'll make sure I'll put them in this i card somewhere here or there, wherever it is. But yeah, now according to this one, the Hero Chronicles one, you are going to be putting in a Golazo Hero player in and you'll get a 90 rated to a 91 rated or an 88 to an 89 and 89 to a 90 rated player. So yeah, is it really worth it or is it not? Uh, we will look at that in this video so uh, for this ex you know like just like an example we'll just go with crouch you know uh, so taking an 88 rated player instantly for level one itself you're gonna get the plus one overall upgrade so he'll be sent from 88 to 89 and then level one uh, upgrades are gonna be passing and physical so here you can see uh, that his passing it gets upgraded 99 95 passing he gets he gets up to 87 stamina 95 jumping all that good stuff now is this evolution really worth it i will i will tell you guys my idea about this evolution first off itself because uh before we get into level two i don't think this evolution you guys should be doing or anybody should be doing unless you guys need that few uh attributes boost here and there because in level two you get see here he has 88 pace so in level two and in level three by the time he goes from level one to level three he's gonna be getting plus three pace boost he's gonna be getting plus uh one two three four plus four passing boost he's gonna be getting plus another four physical boost and he's gonna be getting uh, a plus one overall as well so is it really worth it now i don't think it is i don't really think it is but if you guys are into this you know uh, we want to increase his pace and his passing a bit more you guys can go ahead and do it don't do this for a striker i wouldn't suggest doing this for a striker maybe a cdm or a center back like uh, mark Wes or Kohler or somebody else uh, even center center midfield or uh, defense guys do this golazo what is this what is this called do this hero chronicle evolution either for a defender or a midfielder because doing this for a striker it doesn't make any sense you're gonna increase his pace which already is good you're gonna increase the passing doesn't really matter for a striker you're not gonna be passing to the opponent's goalie so it doesn't matter physical what you're going to be increasing you're going to be having a lot of uh, defenders who will definitely be having higher heading accuracy and high jumping so i don't think you would want to put this uh, hero chronicle evolution for a striker if you guys really want to use this make sure you guys go for a cdm or a center back personally i am not going to be doing this at all main reason why look at this card dynamic look at the card design i just am in love with this so I don't think I'm going to be doing this at all. This beautiful card design is going to be sent into a green color card like this, which I don't like at all. So this is one reason I'm not going to be doing this evolution. Now, is this evolution really needed or really good? I would suggest, like I said, it's not really that great. You know, this video is going to be super short because I am not going to be putting any of these guys in an evolution and spoil the card design neither do i need like plus four passing or plus four physical or plus three pace in any of these cards marquez i did the player review for marquez make sure you guys go check that video out it's a really good card now francisco lee and crouch francisco lee, i'm using him and he's really good 90 pace is sufficient enough passing i don't really use and even with his uh, physical look at that he has plus 8 jumping plus 8 strength and he has 84 stamina just by me using the marksmanship 
placed chemistry style so i don't really need anything else so i don't suggest i wouldn't suggest anybody doing this evolution particular evolution wait it out maybe we get something better i don't know but i would not suggest anybody doing this evolution so that is basically it for this video you guys hope you guys hope you guys found this uh, video useful let me know in the comment section if it was but yeah i will see you guys in another video this video was really really short and i'm surprised how short this was but yeah i wouldn't suggest doing this evolution guys this i think is a it's just waste of time and waste of energy for you guys as well just for plus four physical plus four passing and plus three pace and plus one overall i don't think this is really worth it but yeah i'll see you guys in the next video until then take care stay safe stay motivated and keep my league bye bye